I would wear this dress to brunch, to cash a billion dollar check, to take someone's man. I don't know how I would describe this dress. I would probably classify it as like a baby doll sundress, maybe. I would describe this dress as a baby doll dress. It's absolutely a baby doll dress. I would call this dress like a fit and flare dress or like an A-line dress. This is what I call a play dress. I feel like I'm going on a picnic right now. I would wear this dress to the park for a picnic. I love that this dress has pockets for snacks. Pockets. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's talking about pockets. I wear a ton of dresses. Ask my coworkers. If I show up in pants, they're like, what happened to you? I think dresses is the number one go-to. I don't really like wearing pants. I um, don't like wearing dresses because I have a skinny girl complex where I just think my legs look so skinny. I don't wear dresses that often because as a big girl, wearing a dress is a commitment. You have to make sure you're comfortable all day. You have to worry about your panty line. I love an empire waist. I love any type of fit and flare silhouette. When I shop for dresses, I usually look for the high-waisted. I like the cinched. The kind of waist that I prefer in a dress is something a little tighter because I do have a smaller waist, so I like to show off my curves. My preferred waist is like the ruched waist, somewhere on the sides. I like that because it cinches you in and makes you more like model-esque. If the waistline is too small, then you'll feel cut off. You won't be able to breathe, especially if in a dress like this that doesn't have any stretch. It's really difficult to um, not only zip up, but then also wear throughout your day. With my really broad shoulders and my rib cage being kind of wide. I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to zip very well. I always look for dresses that either like flare out so they don't like make my stomach look any bigger than it has to look. Overall like shift dress or trapeze dress that kind of feels like I can move around in it. I knew that this dress was going to have one issue which is really specific to plus size women especially when they have a lot of pleating. Look really great from this side but unfortunately give you a pretty pregnant or apple shaped <laughs> silhouette from the side. Sometimes a lot of volume can be hard for my petite frame. I was happy there were sleeves because I basically only wear dresses with sleeves. I'm self-conscious about my arms, so I like not having to worry about that, and I feel more like me. The material always runs short, so I can't wear a lot of baby doll dresses. I'm 5'10", so I have to do the bend over test to make sure that the goods aren't showing for free. As a petite person, having a dress that hits far enough above the knee so I don't look squatty is important. I'm on the shorter side, so I like my dresses a little shorter. Being chesty on the top, a dress that cuts in this area that'll show my cleavage, I think it depends on where I'm going or what I'm doing. I don't normally get dresses that are this fitted in the bust because I just don't feel comfortable. Very tight around the boob area, it can be a little hard for fitting and getting over your head. I had to step into this one instead of putting it over. I like to show off my bust line in a dress. Giving lots of cleavage, which is something that I love. I run into either a problem with the hip space or the breast space. I have a triple D and my hips are 56 inches, so it's kind of wide. It's perfect length, perfect width in the hips, which is surprising. I could go without a bra in this one. I'm not wearing a bra. Is that the wrong thing? I would personally wear no bra or something that's unlined because the material is very thick, so it makes your boobs look big. The best part of this dress is you can wear a regular bra. You can wear anything, which is actually what's great about this neckline. I would probably say for the girl who is busty, our bra choices are a bit more limited, so a boat neck that line like this might be a little tougher because lots of full chested women have to deal with full coverage bras and so they're not really that friendly for a boat neck. I think that normally I would like be wearing shapewear so I was worried it would be like not the most flattering but I actually feel like it's pulling me in nicely. You don't have to wear Spanx. That's the biggest thing for me. <laughs> the biggest thing I would be concerned about is being comfortable in the thigh area. Make sure I don't chafe or maybe make sure I'm wearing like some comfortable shorts. I feel like you should wear a cute pair of lingerie or like underwear with this dress because it deserves it. This dress is actually the perfect summer dress to me. It's like still cute and feminine. I would wear this to work or going out or for brunch or really anywhere. Maybe even like a casual wedding. I feel cute in this dress today. It's different, but it's, it's nice. I feel cute. I feel flirty and fun. I think I could go out right now to happy hour and look good and feel confident.